So, Dr. Woodbeck, has the district been improper in its efforts to try to get people, our staff in particular, to go out and vote? Absolutely not. What we have done is, one, really tried to work to educate everyone on what Proposition A is. And we have, as Fort Bend always does, educated our staff about what they can and cannot do in terms of the use of their equipment, all of those things that we do every election cycle, everyone. And we did have some incentive to uh, get percentage voters higher, not just for Fort Bend ISD, but to vote in general. You could live in Houston, you could live in Lamar, Katy, wherever, but you know, exercise your right to vote. And so we have been encouraging that. You know, teachers are not notorious in the education world for getting out and voting. So we did do that. Uh, but uh, to think that it's some form of payment or bribery or illegal activity, I think is ludicrous. But just to make sure, when this happened, we met, we talked about it, we consulted with legal counsel, and we stopped it. So it's over. But June's Day, isn't that pervasive and common, not just in this district, but all districts? Every Friday is June's Day, is it not? Most schools, it's a spirit day, or they have a Jeans day, maybe in the middle of the week for colleges. That's what a lot of people do. And that's also to encourage kids that, hey, look, all these people around me are college graduates. Maybe that's what I want to do someday. So there's a, there's a purpose behind that. But also just to say thank you or just to allow people to be comfortable because they're on their feet a lot. Some of our elementary teachers, our special ed teachers, our PE teachers, they're, they're on the floor. Uh, they're running. They're doing activities. So when you're at a campus, you use Jeans Day. I, I was a principal at all three levels. Well, I use Jeans Days all the time. I would, I would say, oh my goodness, you guys stayed so late for duty, or thank you for an awesome open house. To have Jeans tomorrow, be comfortable. Our principals have that latitude, and some of them have had latitude like join a faculty club, and if you join, you get a t-shirt and a Jeans pass. And to me, that's, that's just something that some of them have done, and okay, that has really nothing to do with an election. So to say that that has some kind of a, now we've created a monetary value because that was done prior to or at the beginning of the year, and then now, that would have been a connection we would have never thought of. And then some critics said that, well, some of the kids, if they brought the I voted sticker from my, their parents, then they would get to reach into a grab bag and get a little treat or something. Uh, did that come from the district? Well, there were some people in our district who got together and tried to think of fun ways to encourage voting. And so that may have been one of those, but I know, I know more about bringing a sticker back than I know about that. But uh, bring a sticker back that your parents voted. But again, we're not telling them how to vote, and we don't have any control over how they vote. Ultimately, we have no control how anyone votes. So um, to me, um, if, that, if that bothered anyone or caused any confusion, by Wednesday morning, we, we met with all the leaders, and we said, just stop everything. And just continue to make sure people are informed and allow your staff the opportunity to go vote, just like we always do. And again, it doesn't matter if the staff is going to vote in the Proposition A Fort Bend ISD election. They could be residents of Harris County. That's right. Uh, and they may, have a, they may have a passion for the Houston mayor. They may have a passion for something else. And so uh, we're encouraging their right to vote. What did you think when you heard about this? You're, you're trying to get people to go vote. Educators typically are a low turnout group. What did you think when you heard about it? What did I honestly think? It made me sad because there is such an attack on public education right now and it didn't take me but about 10 seconds to put that piece together. This is not about Fort Bend ISD and Proposition A. This is about let's attack public education more than we already have. Let's, let's make it hard on them. Let's do everything we can to make it hard for them to pass a bond or a TRE or anything else. And, and you know, Sherry, I can go on and on about the obstacles that school districts are facing and we continue to face. And so um, it's just, that's what this really is. And I would encourage our community and I encourage our staff and I encourage people in Texas to start paying attention. Why is it so important to educate 
FBISD voters about this particular VATRE Proposition A on the ballot? Okay, because Proposition A has two things. It is to bring in $35 million every year for the purpose of teacher and staff salaries and armed security at the elementaries. And remember, we have 50 elementaries, so that costs a lot of money. That's it, no other pet projects, no other initiatives. So that's the main message. But why do we need to make sure that we're communicating that more than ever? It's because of the ballots. Can I show you, Sherry, do you mind? All right, so I'm coming in to vote, and I'm looking at the ballot and reading, and maybe I didn't even do my homework. I just show up and I'm reading this. All right, here's one, Proposition 8. Uh, the constitutional amendment creating broadband infrastructure to fund and expand access to connectivity, internet. Okay, I can understand that. I can decide whether I'm for or against. Proposition 9, uh, amendment authorizing the legislator to provide cost of living adjustment to retired teachers. I understand that. I can choose to support it or not. Here's a county one. We have two for Fort Bend County. I'll just read one of them. Uh, bonds. Uh, for the construction, maintenance, and operation of roads. And it tells you exactly where the roads are going to be. Katy, Kendleton, Rosenberg. So people can understand. Now let's look at ours. Proposition A, Fort Bend ISD. Ratifying the ad valorem tax rate of 99 cents at Fort Bend Independent School District for the current year, a rate that will result in an increase of 4.86% in maintenance and operations tax revenue for the district for the current year as compared to the preceding year, which is an additional $35 million. What does that mean? Now, you go to the polls, you have no clue unless somebody has told you, hey, that Prop A is for two things. It's going to bring in $35 million for teachers and staff salary, and 70% of that, by the way, is teachers, and it's armed security, which is, by the way, a mandate that was only partially funded. By the state by the state, yes, a mandate and, and partial funding. So, so to me, what position is any school district in when you cannot change this? So let's say, as superintendent, I would have said, I want to add on the end, to be used for teacher and staff uh, raises and armed security at elementaries. I can't do it. That would have also been opposed by elected officials that don't want to see things pass, just as Jean's passes are. So I, I, I say to you, this is the travesty, and this is what needs to change. We should be able to make it just as clear as any other entity about what that proposition or that amendment is about. So again, all the district has been doing is trying to encourage teachers, staff, parents, voting age students, and other community members to vote. Yes, but I also think it's important. Remember, we're a teaching and learning institution. We teach children government. We teach them civics. We teach them uh, student government. Uh, and teaching that has been a part of school cultures for forever. I mean, you know, as principal, I mean, that's what people did. So, you know, we, we see these things. This is what, what we do. And so um, it should be part of, of what we allow kids to learn, that their voice should be heard and that, you know, let your opinions be known. Uh, I would want elected officials to want them to reach out and be heard. So this is what, this is what we need to do because it's the right thing. And I'm not, I, I ha have no regrets. Fort Bend ISD did absolutely nothing inappropriate. And I even heard one critic say that we're trying to spike the voter turnout do you see this as some kind of, it almost smacks of trying to silence votes? It would come out as that, kind of backward, right? Um, so what is the answer? If you're, if you're trying to increase or spike, I've never, not heard that word used, but increase voter turnout, well, what, so, so what are you saying? Teachers, we don't want you to vote. Bus drivers, don't vote. I mean, what, what is that really saying if you don't want people to go to the polls that are educators? Uh, that concerns me that that would be an interpretation. And then lastly, um, you said the legislator, legislation, leg legislators have not given extra money for school districts, that hasn't happened yet. And when they do, it's not for everybody who works for a school district. In the past, um, whenever teacher raises are given, they usually put teachers in a category 
teachers, counselors, nurses, librarians. So if it's not on the special session at all right now, it's not on there at all, but let's say down the road it is. Let's say they say we're going to give $3,000 to all teachers, so that covers those four groups. Bus drivers, counselor, no, excuse me, counselors would be principals. Uh, how about the aides that are working with the most severe special ed children that we have? Literally, feeding tubes, wheelchairs, working with kids. Uh, what about the people in the cafeterias, the custodians? Nothing. So districts have to figure that out. And that's why we always look for what are they doing per pupil to help us because that covers all of the other people and that helps us cover inflation. So. Um, it's just, it's just something that we, we really need, and we just have to communicate as best we can. So last word, what you've been saying all along, go vote. Go vote, exercise your right to vote, uh, be informed. The ballot won't inform you. You're going to need to be informed before you show up. Otherwise, in Fort Bend ISD, Proposition A, you will not know what it is. And so uh, we're trying to do the right thing, and I am proud of what we're doing. I do not see anything that has been done that is incorrect, and the minute there was even a question on it, we stopped it. Just to make sure that there's no cloud over what we're doing, and we can hopefully get back to the main thing. Keep the main thing the main thing, which is take care of our kids and support the people that are doing it. And by the way, it's Jeans Friday, and you're wearing your jeans. I was. I had no idea we were going to do this, but I am today. Yes. <laughs> Thanks, Sherry.